Not all the functions that you can use with Excel actually come built into the program. There is, for an example, an add-in that's shipped with Excel that includes some additional functions, one of which is called Rand Between. It makes it easy for you to create random numbers. To use Rand Between, we need to first install the add-in. But luckily, this only needs to be done once, and once the add-in is installed, it will be available always in future. To install it, I'll choose File and then Options, and then click Add-ins. The one I want is this Analysis Tool Pack, but right now it's in the Inactive Application Add-ins list. We need to make it active. So down here, I'll select Manage Excel Add-ins and click Go. And this is it, the Analysis Tool Pack. I'll check its checkbox to add it to Excel and install it and click OK. Now when I return to File Options, Add-ins, you'll see it's been moved up to the Active Application Add-ins list, and it will be installed and made active every time you launch Excel. Now this add-in includes our Rand Between function, and we can use it to calculate some random numbers. So I'll type equal Rand Between. Now I can see it here in the list, so I'm just going to click it to select it. And then what I need to do is to tell Excel the range of values between which I want random numbers calculated. And the bottom and top values are also included. So for example, if I need a number between 0 and 100, and if I'm happy to include 0 and 100, I would type 0, 100. But I need to be happy that these two values are going to be included potentially in the random numbers that are generated. I'll close the bracket and press Enter, and here is our random number. This is a formula that can then be copied, so I'm going to drag down to copy it throughout this range, and then across to copy it again. Now you may have noticed that as I copy the function, the random numbers change. These are live and they're being recalculated every time the worksheet calculates. So if I enter a value into a cell, every time I press Enter, the random numbers are going to recalculate again. And you can see here we've got 100 and 0, so we're proving that those two values are being included. But at some point you might say, well, that's all very well, but I really want to make my random numbers stable so they don't change. We can do that, and the way I do that is by selecting over all the numbers that I want to fix, and I'll click the Copy button here, and they're copied to the clipboard. And what I want to do is to paste the values back in, not the formulas. So from the Paste drop-down list, I'm looking for Paste Values. And I'm just going to select this and click on it. And now you can see that instead of the formula, we've got hard numbers. So none of these are going to change even if the worksheet recalculates. Random numbers are useful when you need to enter random data into a worksheet either to test formulas that they're working correctly, or in a situation where you just want some random numbers and don't want to have to type the values in yourself. And here's an indication of the random number formula that we just used.